Hey man, I ain't even gonna play with you, man. We're gonna go on and jump off into this real quick. Uh, package came, touchdown. Let me show you what we got. I was talking about it. If you were paying attention in the last video, if you were paying attention in the last video, man, then you should already know. But, uh, yeah. Trying to get good, like, spray away with my one hand shenanigans. All right. Shout out to LMC in the background. On the trip, on the trip, it, on the trip, it, actually, I bought another trap. But then I don't ever use that shit. That's, that's the deliver. I'll be out there in the garage shooting and I don't use it. So today, I'm going to take it with me. That's, that's my pledge. All right, so yeah, gravity feed, detailing, spray gun. Um, features three built-in regulators, control airflow, paint flow, and material width, material steel, or stainless steel needle and fluid tip allow use of water-based paint, significant reduction in operating costs. Uh, so, like I was telling y'all, man, the hard freight joint cover 1.4, and that's it. This one right here, I believe if I read it correctly, it came with three different sizes. So, three different sizes and some other little extras and goodies and shit. Uh, I want to say it was like 50 bucks. But the extra shit was worth it to me. So, we got a 1.4. And then we also have a 1.7. Alright, so we two... We already too deep in the game, so technically that's like two guns, if you think about it. Uh, then we got a a regulator. It looks like a regulator. So I got a regulator there. Bing bong. Um, I think what I have in there is supposed to be regulated, but it's really more like a gauge. I don't know. Um, and it comes with this wrench. That's not the wrench that was in the picture, but as long as it works. I ain't fucked up about it. <laughs> Cause honestly, this was probably one of the, one of the more main reasons that I went ahead and grabbed it because I'm supposed to have a wrench, but I don't think I got a wrench. So yeah, that part. Um, and it comes with this canister. Which I don't, I don't plan on using it, but in the event that I needed to, then I could. It's larger. It looks like it's larger than the usual container. Looks like they just had a canister and just poked a hole in that bitch. But it's different. It looks cool. It definitely holds more paint though, I can tell. Uh, and then last but not least, we got that split. We got that split. We got the gun itself. Uh, like I say, you can tell the difference between this one because it's purple. Oh, uh, not purple. It's blue. Like a blue. And it got that two point. I said two point five. Uh, I thought it was supposed to be a 2.0. Alright, so now you can see it's pretty much like a Harbor Freight gun. But this one's 2.5. I was thinking it was supposed to be 2.0. So 
Solid on the 2.5 might be too hot, bro. But it looks. I mean, this, this setup pretty much looks the same. There's no hopper fractures. It even has like the HVLP. The fan is the same, looks like. Let me go get one so we can compare it to. All right, so this is my Harbor Freight joint. This is one I just bought. These are like twins, look like. Made exactly the same fan in the same spot. Nozzle in the same spot. This one says 50 to 70 PSI, but this one only says max of 45. I mean, that might be. That looks pretty damn identical to me. Pretty damn identical. Which is why I went ahead and just pulled the trick on it. I was like, yeah, that shit could probably work for me. Two point. I said two point, but I would chill. One of the main reasons I got it because what I didn't have was a wrench. I'm pretty sure there's one somewhere, but I ain't want to mess mine up. Like I said, it doesn't look like the one in the picture. Oops. Oh, okay. I was like, how the hell does that work? question that I did have was was my spectrum was my spectrum fitting up here gonna fit I'm gonna get a wrench I ain't got no fucking alright so that one did want to come off and yeah so I got this Spectrum Universal Paint System Spectrum Adapter, part number 57505, originally seen on Underground Paint King's channel. And does this screw onto this random ass Amazon game? Yes, it does. Because that's the power of. Uh, the power of a uh, what you call observation. Uh, also, I grabbed like one of the original paint cups so I could kind of show it in comparison to the one that this one came with. Significantly larger. Although this one just pushes on. That's sketchy AF. But I guess that's how they did it back in the day. So it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah. 
this is this is where we at. This is where we at. The main thing was to have the ability to spray with a larger tip for our high build promise so that we could uh, so that we could fill in some of those areas. Um, and like I said, the ability to have other additional tips, like I said, which I'm pretty sure the 1.7 and the 1.4, I already have a 1.4. The 1.4, 1.7, and this one, which is a 2.5, I'm pretty sure, will all come in handy. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try the 2.5, spray in the primer this time, uh, with, the, with a larger tip than I guess I'm, was expecting or whatever, then it may, you may just have to move a little bit quicker or something. I mean, I don't know. You know, we're just going along and figuring this out as we go. Yeah, there's our air regulator. And then put your filter and your, all that on there and you're good to go. So now that I got this with the larger tip, I can go ahead and paint. Um, so let me get everything set up and then next video we should be going ahead and laying that prime laying that prime baby